Greetings friends, Survival Doc here. Today I'm going to plant four fruit trees. Now if you haven't planted your fruit trees yet, what are you waiting for? It's November the 10th. You plant during the dormant season. This is the time to be planting the fruit trees. It takes generally two, three years before you receive fruit from your fruit trees. Our hyperinflation is right around the corner. If you plant a tree now, I guarantee you we're going to be in hyperinflation by the time you start getting fruit from that tree. So quit procrastinating and get out and plant your trees now. And if you've already planted some fruit trees, get out and plant some more. Okay, these are the trees that I'm planting today. I have a couple of uh, small plum trees. I'm going to plant a new apricot tree because my apricot tree just died from a uh, an insect, a boar, killed it. And I'm going to be planting a Stanley prune plum tree. The first one I'm going to plant is a Stanley prune plum. Now, I recommend you plant, if your space is limited, you plant dwarf or semi-dwarf trees. Uh, that way they don't take up as much space and you can plant more trees. All right, dwarf trees will always be grafted. And you can see here, this is where they grafted it. This is the root stock and this is the uh, prune tree right here and it's grafted right here. You want to make sure that you you plant the tree with the soil level about right here, about two or three inches below this graft mark. If you plant it too high, what will happen is this part of the tree will start putting roots into the ground and you'll end up without a dwarf, dwarf plant. It'll grow to the uh, a full size tree, which is what this part wants to grow. So you want the soil level about right here. All right, you can notice that my four trees are in a bucket of water. Before you plant, you want to soak the roots in water for at least two to four hours, up to about six or eight hours, no longer than uh, overnight. Over here I have my hole. As they say, you want a $10 hole for a $5 tree. You want to make sure that you dig your hole deep enough. My hole is about uh, two feet deep. Make sure it's wide enough. Uh, to make so the soil will be real loose and the roots can get off to a real good start. What I have over here is the soil that I dug out of the hole. Now I'm going to mix that soil with what I have over here. What I have here is uh, rabbit manure directly from my uh, rabbit hutches. And then here I have a bag of topsoil. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some of this topsoil with the uh, soil that came out of the hole and with uh, some of this uh, rabbit manure make a good rich uh, mixture and I'm going to put uh, the uh, top soil in the bottom of the hole. You want your best soil in the bottom. Loosen it up really well so that the roots can get off to a real good start. You notice my soil is quite dry. I'm going to have to do a lot of watering and keep this uh, tree watered for the next couple of weeks. Now if you don't have rabbit manure you can also uh, just mix a uh, tree starter fertilizer in with your uh, soil. Use a little board or a stick to put across the ground to show me exactly where the soil level is going to be. Now when I plant this tree, again I want the soil level about right here, so I'm going to plant it where, the, where it comes up to right here with this uh, graft portion, about two inches above the ground. As you can see, I've got about a foot and a half of hole to fill before I even reach the roots. And uh, that's good because I want to put this really rich topsoil and rabbit manure in the bottom. Mix it in with uh, some of the soil that I dug out of the hole. And that way the ground will be nice and 
soft and rich and fertile. And the roots can get off to a really good start. As you can see, I filled my hole almost full. Now I'm going to put my tree in. You want to make sure that the roots are spread out, have as uh, much room as possible to grow. Check my soil level, which is going to be right here. Okay, again, here's the graph. I want that two or three inches above the ground, so I'm actually going to need to pull this up to about right here. And later, after I get this all in here, I can um, check this again, and if I need to, I can pull this up while it's still very loose, pull this up. It's critical that you get this two or three inches where this graph is, that you get this two or three inches. So that right there would be perfect. Now what I'm going to do first, before I fill the hole in completely, is I'm going to pour a lot of water in here and just soak this hole really good. And that will get the uh, air bubbles out, allow it to settle a little bit. Then I'll uh, pack it down with my foot, pull this up a little bit if I need to, to get it at the right height. And then I'll finish filling in the soil again and check the depth again and pull it up a little bit if I need to. You notice I put my best topsoil in the bottom of the hole and at the top I'm filling in more with this uh, soil that I uh, dug out of the hole. And while the soil is still loose, if you need to pull it up a little bit to make sure that that notch is two or three inches above the ground, that's fine. I'm going to let this water soak in. Then I'm going to uh, finish filling the hole. And then I'm going to water it some more. And over the next few days and weeks, I'm going to uh, need to water this uh, several times because, unless we get some rain, because the uh, soil is uh, really dry today. Okay, I, I have planted my tree on the side of a hill on a slope. So I want to make sure that the tree grows up and down. So I'll need to tilt it toward the sky if uh, necessary. As the twig is bent, so grows the tree. As you notice, uh, I haven't quite filled the hole yet. That's because I'm going to water it some more a little later on after this is soaked through and I'll keep checking the uh, level to make sure that the uh, graft is two or three inches above the ground then I'll fill this in completely now in the winter time rabbits like to chew on the bark of fruit trees so um, I'll, I'll put wrap something around this to protect it and um, so want to make sure you don't wrap it too tight and that you don't leave it on there too long because it will squeeze the tree. Also this little piece of plastic here that goes around the tree, uh, if you forget to take this off, this can also squeeze the tree as it grows. So I just took it off just hanging it on the uh, twig right here for now. I'll also 
probably put a little fence around it too to keep people from bumping into it to keep deer from knocking it over because at this point tree is very delicate has to be taken care of carefully here's my next hole I'm gonna plant a little plum tree in here you can see how big the hole is compared to my little tree and again that's such uh, so I can really loosen the soil up here, put some good fertile uh, soil and fertilizer in here to give the plant a really good start. Now I dug my holes before I received my trays. I ordered my trays from a Stark Brothers Nursery uh, located in Louisiana, Missouri. And um, when they're, they ship the trees when it's time to plant them, no matter when you order them, and uh, before they, when they ship them, they send you an email and let you know they're shipped so that you can pr be prepared for them. And so you really want your hose dug before you bring your trees home because when you get your tree, you want to be able to put it right in the ground immediately. You just want to unpack the tree, soak it in water for a couple of hours, and uh, get it right in the ground. And to do that, you want to make sure that uh, your hole is dug, ideally before you uh, receive your your plant okay for my plum tree if you'll notice uh, it needs some uh, pruning and uh, when you first plant your trees you generally want to do some uh, heavy pruning and, I, and I'll cut back uh, all these branches here because you want all the energy to go into establishing the root system at first here's the tag here's the way they put it on there you want to remove this tag so it doesn't choke your tree as it grows you can just remove it and uh, tie it on with a little piece of twine or uh, I'll just usually put it on a little branch here for starters. Um, this is a um, plum. It's not grafted so the depth is not as critical. I'll plant it uh, about where they look like where it looks like they had the soil when they grew it which will probably be about, about right here. So it'll sit in the hole about like this. This is Survival Doc, reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.